also kind of going to go into what I call Yo You Good. And Yo You Good is just a mental health check for both of you and just having a conversation about it. So mm. through this journey, and I like to talk about it with artists and creatives alike, because I feel like as creatives and as artists, a lot of people will put out our work and it looks so good. Or like sometimes they see the behind the scenes mm. and it's like, you're doing all these fun things and it looks so cool because you're doing a lot of cool things. But then in reality, sometimes I'm you don't, sure. you don't really feel mm. as good as it seems on that from what social media looks. It's kind of like one of those things where it's not all what every, what it seems mm -hmm. like. It's not always the grass is greener on the other side. Mm -hmm. So for you guys, when you're having a bad mental health day, what do you guys do to get out of it? Sleep. Sleep, really? Sleep you just sleep or, it off? Um, yeah, just sleep it off or um, cook some good food for my brothers or mom. Something, just something chill, not too like, strenuous on my mind. But Yeah. Or listen to like, if I'm like making trap, I wouldn't listen to trap. I'll like listen to like something more chilled out mm -hmm. just to put, just to mellow out my mind. So something like that. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Madison? Um, I think I try to remember because there's a saying where they say, um, remember what when you wanted what you have now. Yes. So I or why kind you of, started. Why you yeah. started. Yeah. So I kind of try to remember like all the things I've achieved and, you know, this time last year to be doing what I'm doing now, I'd be so grateful for. But it's when you compare yourself to other people and like yes, all that's the, the things, first. It's, that's, it's the comparisons. If you want to ruin your day, start comparing yeah, yourself to look people. Look on Instagram. Look at how many you know <laughs> views, likes, all of that. So I try to kind of reflect on what I've achieved, what I should be grateful for, where I'm moving towards. Yeah. And kind of just, I, I guess it's quite like introspective, kind of. Yeah. And yeah. Exactly. No, and it's so easy to compare yourself, especially now because of social media. Before, oh, you, you didn't have to because oh, it was yeah. just catching up with friends. Oh, that's dope. Someone tells you about a show. Oh, cool, you're doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now with social media, it's all in your face. So you start comparing. It's so easy to compare your other, mm -hmm. compare your successes to someone else or maybe not even successes, just thinking like, I've worked so hard this for this long. Why am I not yeah. there to where it's like they are at there? Or like, like well, wh they're why are they younger than me? And yes. why, you know, or like, exactly. why did it happen this quickly for them? Jeez, and yeah. yeah. But everyone's journey is different. And I mm -hmm. think that's like the beauty in everyone's journey is that yes. it's a different story. So. Exactly. They're not going to be the same. No, and you can try and go that route. Yeah. yeah. You can try and go that route, which it might work, but it sometimes. It wouldn't be authentic to you. You'd be trying yeah. to pursue someone else's, which isn't, yeah. So far, what has been the most struggling thing, part of this journey? And how have you have overcome it? Um, for me, because I'm, I'm a singer and I'm a songwriter as well. Um, so like having sometimes you get writer's block or creative block in general you might go into a session and you just can't create and it's so easy in those moments to think you're not good enough you're never going to be able to create again you shouldn't be doing it and I think a struggle is just feeling like you belong and you are good enough to be here otherwise you wouldn't be yes so love that yes mm. and what about you Jamo? um I think it's like when the producing and the DJ is clashing so because like right now I want to get into more studio sessions and stuff like that but DJing is like taking me more places and meeting new people but I think if I continue doing the DJing I know that I've got the contacts so I can like call them up and say that da 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 session da 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 do you need beats or do you need yeah. to be in a session stuff like that so it's like 50-50 to be honest up to me yeah, yeah. Mm. nice well for you guys as well I want to ask what's also been the greatest lesson you've learned within this journey as well has anyone given you the best advice so far or is there an advice that sticks out to you that you still take with you today um, i think i was in the studio session like a month ago with this producer who was really cool and we were just talking we were doing, we were doing the same thing we were speaking about social media and you know comparing yourself and stuff and we we're talking about georgia smith who's amazing and obviously she she's younger than me so i was like oh yeah you know georgia smith she's younger than me i love georgia oh. she's amazing and he was like, but she'll never be as good at being you yes. at Madison Paris. And mm -hmm. that is your strength because you are you. Find what you're good at and just like work on that. And I think that is really it. No mm -hmm. one can replicate what you're doing if you're truly like focused on yourself. Yes, exactly. No, exactly. Mm. And Jamo? Um, I'm not too sure, you know. I think it's to continue what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Don't make anyone bring you down. Just like the, like the, new, mm -hmm. the usual stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And bringing back to being just yourself, that's so true because if I... And it's the music industry is small, period, but 
when you have another person that sounds like another artist, it's already boring because yeah. it's like we already have that. Exactly that. Like, why would why would we want to listen to another person that sounds like that person? One hundred percent. You need to find what you're good at and work on it. You might not be like even you might not be the best belter, but you can do this. Yeah. Like, you don't. Everyone has doesn't have to be the skills, same. Yeah. 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 So you find your skill and just work on it. Yes, because then your style, your skill will yeah. come through because it's your style, and, and that's how it becomes unique. And then you have people trying to copy you because mm-hmm. you've perfected yes. what you do. Yeah. Because so, you, you know. found yourself, you found your talent, you found your your skill set, and you found that you that this is your brand and this is your exactly. thing. This exactly. Is you. 